pictures of you and your family's Halloween costumes through the years. We're going to be showing more of our favorites today, so keep an eye out. Now, since it's Halloween, it's only fitting that we tell a ghost story, right? And no one tells them better than the band of paranormal investigators on the hit travel channel show, Ghost Adventures, who regularly take us to the scariest places in the world. My name is Zach Bagans, lead investigator of the Ghost Adventures crew. I never believed in ghosts until I came face to face with one. You wanted us, you got us. So I set up on a quest to capture what I once saw onto video. <laughs> With no big camera crews following us around, I am joined only by my fellow investigators, Nick Groff and Aaron Goodwin. The three of us will travel to some of the most highly active paranormal locations where we will spend an entire night being locked down from dusk until dawn. Whoa. So please welcome from Ghost Adventures, Zach Bagans, Nick Groff, and Aaron Goodwin. because this show is hugely popular really and, is, and yeah. uh, doing really, really well. Why do you think people are so fascinated, almost obsessed with the paranormal? Because they watch Ghost Adventures. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing like having an experience with a ghost. When you hear a spirit speak to you, when you feel those chills... Uh, it's something that you want more of. Well, how did you guys get into this in the first place? I got involved in this because I had an experience with a female ghost, and I saw her. I saw the apparition. She called me by full name, Zachary. And once you have this type of experience, you want to know more. And I found out two years later, this was an apartment that I lived in, that a lady uh, actually died in the bathtub. And what do you say to skeptics, Nick? Because a lot of people are out there thinking, oh, please. You know, we've actually had skeptics on investigations with us throughout the years, and there's no denying with the evidence that we're actually collecting where skeptics have shaken their head going, how is that possible? I want to tell you a story. We had a, had a babysitter who we're still very close to named Lori Beth live with us for 10 years. And before she was interviewed by me, she was sleeping, and she shot up straight out of bed, and there was a figure at the foot of her bed. This is your babysitter? Yeah, and she and the figure said, please take care of Katie. And so later, Lori Beth was hired by our family to help me take care of my daughters. And the first day she came, she looked at a photo on my daughter's bulletin board. And she said, that was the person at the foot of my bed. Wow. And it was my husband. Wow. Isn't that the weirdest story? Have and you he, ever felt that he was trying to contact you? When we had a house in, in Millbrook, New York, and a lot, it was Jay's favorite place, I would sort of feel a sense of him and get the chills. And I've so often wanted that. You know, I've wanted to have uh, have him, you know, talk to me or visit me or tell me he's okay, but it never happens. And that's the thing about paranormal. You can't make it happen on cue. I wish we could. I wish we could have a ghost walk down these stairs right now. <laughs> well, just sit down right here and we can talk to it. That's what we want. So I know that for Halloween that you guys actually went to Transylvania <clears throat> and Central Romania to sink your teeth into the age-old tale behind Dracula's birthplace. We have a clip. Let's take a look. Really? Yeah. Happening, dude. Come out, come out here. No. Come out here. Come out here. Come out here. Just calm down. You're gripping my arms super tight. That looks really scary. It was weird enough to be there and witnessing it, but now it's even weirder watching it with you and 150 people. <laughs> well, what what happened? Uh, we went to Romania. We weren't even planning on the shoot here. This was a place called the Hoyabachu Forest, one of the most haunted forests in the world. It's known as the Bermuda Triangle of Transylvania. We went there, and there was a uh, there's a little circle in the middle of the forest where no vegetation grows, no trees, and that circle is said to be a portal to the spirit world. 
And I strayed away from my investigator. As soon as I left the circle and went into the forest, if you watch, listen to that clip, you can hear like a... It was like a sub-frequency noise. I hear this with my own ears, and I'm just paralyzed. I'm staring in the woods. I don't know what's going on. And I started breaking down. And you didn't see part of that clip. And it was a very emotional experience, and I never did. It was scary. Wow. Perfect oh, moment for that. Thanks for scaring the hell out of me. Wow. That means, actually, God, but... guys, it's time for another treat. We get to tell our audience that everyone is going home with a new Roku 2 streaming player and an MGO $100 gift card. <laughs> the, the Roku 2 lets you stream tons of entertainment instantly to your TV, and MGO is the fastest and easiest way for you to watch the newest and best selection of movies and TV shows on your Roku. And the new one has built-in headphones so you can watch Ghost Adventures without scaring your neighbor. Aaron, Nick, and Zach, thank you so much. Great to meet you all. And good luck with the show and Ghost Adventures special two-hour Halloween episode premieres tonight at 9 o'clock on the Travel Channel. Up next, we're going to have a real-life monster match when contestants from the sci-fi reality 